Hi again, this is Jeff, your ProtoPie expert, coming at you with a ProtoPie Pro Tip. Today I want to talk to you about a brand new feature that was just released with ProtoPie Studio 6.1, and it's called Smart Jump. If you've used Smart Animate in Figma, or if you've used Magic Move in Keynote, you're going to understand exactly how it works. But really briefly, I'm going to show you how it works in ProtoPie. In my pie here, I have a grid of photos. The way I'd like it to work is when I tap on one of these photos, I want it to zoom up and I want the other photos to move out of the way. If I want to do this the old way, I would have had to make responses for every single one of these images to move them out of the way and then zoom this one up. But I'm going to show you in ProtoPie exactly how quickly we can do this now. I'm just going to duplicate this scene. I'm going to call this Zoomed. In my Zoomed scene, my animation is such that I want this image to move out of the way, this image to move out of the way, all of these to move out of the way up here, and all of these to move out of the way down here, and I want to zoom this image up. Let's get it right about there. And let's make things even now. I would like 20 pixels, so let's move that down. That should now be 20 pixels. That's good. And this is not quite 20 pixels, so let's move it up there and one, two. And we'll do the same thing for these ones, even though they're off screen. Should make my animation smoother if everything is even. All right, let's go back to our scene, and I'm just going to add a tap trigger here. Tap, and I'm going to do jump to the zoom scene, and I'm going to use the smart transition option. Let's see how that looks. All right, really cool. A little bit fast, though. Let's slow it down. You can change the speed of your transition the same way you could before. And I'm just going to change this to half second now. Let's see how that looks. Very good. And let's add a tap back here to bring everything back to where it was. Tap on this big photo. And we are going to jump back to the tile scene. And we'll again do it over 0.5 seconds. There we go. In just a few seconds now, I've made a really cool custom animated transition between two scenes. So the way Smart Jump works is if you have the same objects on two scenes, so I have all of these photos, and you remember I duplicated this scene to create the second one, so that means that all of these objects are the same as they are in the tiles scene. When you use the Smart Transition, ProtoPie just figures out the differences between those same objects. It looks for the same objects with the same names and changes their properties to match. So in this case, it moves some things around and it scaled up our hero image in the middle. Let's see that again. Really cool. Really cool and really quick. But what I really want to show you here is how well this plays with Figma. In Figma here, I have a fictitious music app. And this is already set up, by the way. So if we click on Flow 1, this is already set up to do some smart animation in between the two. If I click on Rancid here, I transition to a detail screen and the cover of the album zooms up. And if I click back, then it zooms back down. And if I do a long press on this top one up here, then I get a control here where I can choose uh, my rating on here. Okay, so simple stuff. And you can see this is all just using, this is all just using uh, smart animation. So if I click on this one here, um, actually let's do this one here. If we click on this one here, it's Smart Animate over half a second. And I've simulated a long press. In Figma, there's no long press option, but you can, you can kind of hack it. If you use Touchdown and you add a delay, this will give you a, a long press. Now, here's what happens. If I take these, let's take these three, and I'm going to import these into ProtoPie. So let's go to Plugins, ProtoPie, we'll Export. All right, so you're going to see now that I have this in ProtoPie, everything is preserved. So my smart jump from, from here to here, it's preserved. And if I do this one, so okay, so a little bit different here. This is a single click. And the reason for that is because we kind of had to hack the long press in Figma, uh, it came through as a touchdown trigger because that's what it was in Figma. But we actually want this to be a long press. So we can do that. If I just add a trigger and I use long press here, and I'm just going to copy this into here, and we don't need this touchdown anymore. Now this is a long press on that item there. And if I preview this, you're going to see long press, 
brings up the control and a single click doesn't bring that up anymore. And this still works. Here's another example. In Figma, it's pretty easy to use Smart Animate to create a tab navigation along the bottom of your experience. If I play this, you're going to see I can go through, and I've used a little bit of creative placement of the titles at the top too, so they animate left and right depending on which item you click on. And if I export those to Protopie, everything is preserved. So this is all ready for me to now add extra interaction. In Figma, you can get pretty complicated with um, the way your stuff works. In this third one, I've actually made my album list into a scrolling container. You can do this in Figma, but you're gonna see what happens now. If I click on this and out come the wolves, it looks like it works great. Right, But if I scroll this down a little bit, you're going to see things start to get a little bit weird here. Uh, the way that Smart Animate works, and this is no different in Protopie, the way that Smart Animate works is your layers and the nesting of layers needs to match. And in order to get this to work properly, uh, I created a scrolling container here called Scroll Frame. I needed to have the same container over here. So if we click on this guy here, Scroll Frame. And I wanted that to be scrollable as well. So if we... Let's play this again. Let's go back to, if I click on this, you're going to see I want to be able to scroll this so I could see all of the, the tracks in here. However, I don't like that it animates up to the, the same scroll position, and it even gets worse. If I click down here and I click on this one, that's just not a great experience here. So this is now where Smart Animate and Figma starts to work against you. You start to reach some limits. But let me show you what this looks like if I import this into the Protopie. So let's copy these. We're going to export these to Protopie. And we have our scrolling list. That's this scene right here. Let's preview that. Let's see how this looks. If I click on and out come the wolves, then I do get that animation the way I like. Let's see if I scroll this a little bit. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Now, it looks a little bit odd is it it is animating the scroll back and forth but if we go all the way to the bottom one here we go to one by one and I go back it's putting things back to where they were it actually animates that scroll so protopie actually does the smart animate here a little bit better but the beautiful part about the way protopie works is you have more control and you can fix things and make things work a little bit better let's go back to our first example the way that this worked was if I did a single click on this one, I would get the details screen and a long press on here, I would get the two of them. But really what I'd like to demonstrate is that I can do both interactions on the same thing. So I'd like to do a single click on here to bring up the details list, but a long press would bring up this interaction for the Rancid album here. If I were to try and do this in Figma, here's what's going to happen. So let's go back to our original flow, and I actually have another artboard set up over here. And um, let's go over to Prototype. And if I add another interaction here, and I try to simulate this, um, the long press, that's touchdown with a delay, and that should be after half a second, so we do 500 milliseconds. If I now preview this, so now you're going to see that when I try to execute this, my single click doesn't work anymore, even though in Figma I have both a uh, touchdown and a tap on here. Because touchdown is also the start of a tap, uh, in Figma this one will take precedence and my tap doesn't work anymore. So the, only the long press works. I can't put both of those interactions on the same item here, but I can do it in Protopie. So let's now take these two artboards and let's export them. Okay, here we go. In my, in my list scene here, I have my touch down here. Let's convert that to a long press first of all. So, add trigger, long press, and I'm just going to 
put this down here, and we don't need these two touchdowns anymore. So I have a tap on this item, which should take me to the details screen, and a long press on that item, which should take me to the heart control. So let's preview that. Single tap, long press. Single tap, long press. And there you go, easy as pie, smart jump in protopie.